Hey everyone, welcome to Taylor's World. My name is Taylor Lawson. Today I have a course review and round highlights with a golf round I played with some buddies out at Stone Ridge in Stillwater, Minnesota. Let's hop right into the footage. Okay, I don't know about you, but my grade in my reaction to a course starts like immediately. I mean, so this is a nice little entrance that you get here at Stony. So you come in, you got these uh, these stone little entrances here. I don't know what you want to call them. Uh, this is basically after the round though. So I'm done playing golf. Here comes Josh Bruder and Matt, Matt Arnold buddies I played with, and they probably think I'm a psycho, but, uh, had to do it for the shots. And then you get kind of a peak right at hole. I believe that's hole 11. Yep. So that's a signature hole 11, um, that you can see right there at the barn. Uh, so yeah, you know, this was an early October round and you just had some trees already starting to turn. Uh, so this was just an awesome vibe the entire round. It was warm, uh, no wind really. I mean, it's raining a tiny bit in this clip, but we stayed dry most of the time. So it was great. You can see these yellow trees. I mean, these were kind of some of the colors we were getting for most of the round around the course. So, you know me, I like to check out the practice area. I mean, these Stone Ridge has some of the fastest greens in the metro is my understanding. I put it right up there with like Edinburgh. So, uh, I asked them, you know, you can go inside and ask them, you know, ask the golf pros or, you know, whoever's working you know, what number is the greens rolling today? And I think they said something around like a 12 on the stem meter. So that's how, that's the scale that greens are measured on the stem meter. So I think it's like scale one to 14. Uh, so you get up to like 12 and 13 and 14, these things are moving. So here comes the first time you know, Josh Bruder, I told these boys I was going to be hey, recording up, today, Josh? and these guys were there early, getting hey, warmed up, Matt. as you should. Nice to meet you. First time I ever hey, met Matt Arnold camera right camera. there. <laughs> Throw a camera in his face. That's classy. Um, if anyone knows a bit going on in the crowd right now, I had some issues with class one round out at, at Loggers Trail with Bruder, but we, we've gotten past that, luckily. So... Nice little practice range, you know, $115 green fee to play here. Yet, if you love golf, you're okay paying over 100. No range balls included in that green fee, so I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna be a little critical when you don't give me like 20 to 25 balls with a hundred and fifteen dollar green fee so there's our there's another one of our group, Jeff Vivan. He's no stranger to the camera. He loves the camera. The camera loves him. Um, yeah, so here's hole one, nice little view, just a short par four where, you know, Matt took an iron there. I took a four iron here, striped it. Uh, we're going to have some fun with Jeff today. You know, we caught some really good shots, but you know, you're gonna, when you record a round, like I do, you're gonna catch some miss hits. And we caught a couple of his, which was funny. That was a nice little stripe by Bruder. Here's Bruder's approach to about six feet for birdie. Uh, yeah, so we found a club on hole one, and a guy drove past me and asked if he saw it, and I said, yeah, and he scolded me for leaving it there. Anyway, we had a good laugh about that. That was Bruder pulling his drive on two, and now here's all four of us at... We're at hole seven i believe a little 150 yard par three look at these darts just painting this green jeff pulled us off to the left about pin high maddie hits this nice little draw so does bruder bruder can shape the ball both ways i don't know if you know guys know anything about josh bruder he played golf at iowa state boy can smack it yep so i pushed mine off here we were all on the green all two putted and parred Boys were five over through seven. We were just humming. Uh, and this is just a view from the top of eight. 
Josh Bruder just got done birdieing. So we made the turn 37, 38. Oh, another banger. We made the turn at four over as a group. So we were just crushing. There's whole uh, whole nine here. Jeff with a little miss hit. He had to earn his bogey on this one, I believe. Maddie with a nice little draw to the right side of the green. We see Bruder hitting is just another dart. You ever played golf with Josh Bruder? It's just dart after dart. It's inspirational stuff. I put one up there too. Another green and reg. I think we I think the boys that hit parred. Jeff had a, a little lunch pail bogey, maybe. Blue collar lunch pail bogey. Uh, that was a birdie putt right there that Josh hit. No dice. And so we ran into some boys that teed off that we know. Here's Je Tim Rondorf. He said he was going to hit a draw, and he actually did. And I was pretty surprised. So when I'm man when I'm holding the camera here, the shot tracer goes a little crazy. So for most of these shots, I put it on a, uh, a tripod so it's stable. And that's when the auto tracer will catch it better. So we see here Jeff... He'll tell you when he hits a good shot. All right. So he pumped that one down the middle. Here's a nice little sexy little, excuse me, a nice little sexy draw from Bruder there. And I think I just put mine out in the middle of the fairway as well. So look at those. You can start to see those trees. I mean, that's kind of and even more so in this shot. This is just an approach shot coming into hole 10. I think it was like 160 or something. I think I hit a seven iron. Maddie, the little cutoff, probably eight iron, nine iron. Kid pumps it. Jeff pulled it off to the left, so you can see where Jeff hit his drive. He caught a slope or something. He can hit it. And a birdie putt for Jeff. Gonna have to check the scorecard, see if he made it. It's pretty solid on the flat stick, I imagine he did. This is a drive up to 11. So this is the signature hole you see coming in. So you saw that those red, uh, I don't even know what they are, bushes, trees right there. Whatever they are, they're great. Great vibes. Mashed. Left center, center. You know, he'll pick up a tee quick when he knows it's good. Mashed. Fairway. Yeah, this is Matt on his way to eagling this hole. 409 yard, 490 yard par five. He got the ball in the hole in three strokes. It's fantastic. I pulled mine way more to the left than the tracer caught there. I pulled it basically over the barn onto some fescue quarry. And Jeff. Okay, nice drive there by Jeff. And so we see a little miss hit here by Jeff, but you know, Perfect attitude here. You laugh it off. Um, so this is the result of his second, and he found himself in the desert here. But this is crushed. I mean, I guess he was probably only 150 yards out. But he puts that on the green, miss hit, played out the fairway bunker, got a par in the hole. Guy's a gamer. Love playing golf with him. So that's just a view from hole uh, 11 green. Uh, Matty eagled it. So here's a look at hole 13. You got a ton of sand and you got these fairway brunkers protecting it. Look what Jeff does here. Kind of miss hits his drive. Pretty sure he puts it in one of those bunkers on the hill. Just an impossible. I mean, you're hoping to, you're lucky to make par from there. He hits like a, a miraculous shot out of there to about six feet. Birdie preheated oven is there. At least that's what he was telling us. Um, go to hole 14 here. 185 yard par three. Josh Bruder put it on it. Take a look at where this was. Two, two and a half feet. Got to try and make it with the putter cover on there. So he did. And now kind of to close it out here. This is kind of what can happen out at Stone Ridge. You get in the blender a little bit. <laughs> that was his drive left side no you, you you just aren't even on level ground sometimes you know when you're golfing you have to get used to that type of stuff so there you go i think we went like seven over on that hole 
Josh Bruder, obviously part of it. Uh, yeah, just a really solid round from the boys. We were kind of about as dialed as you can be on the front. We ended with a couple of 81s for me and Jeff Vivant. Josh Bruder shot a 72 and Matt Arnold with a 78. Matt had a triple bogey on 17 on that last hole that we were just looking at Jeff smacking it around on, and he shot a 78. So that kid has game. Um, So, yeah, you know, talking about a grade on a course like Stone Ridge, I mean, very few courses are going to get an A, but, I mean, the greens are almost perfect out there. The scenery is pretty damn close to perfect uh with the the the, the turning trees um in in early october and fall the rate is pretty spendy 115 bucks don't get golf uh range balls included in that so that's really kind of all i'm knocking on it so i'm gonna give it like an a minus uh i look forward to playing stone ridge uh next season I, I might who knows i might even squeeze back out there again this season so if you get a chance definitely give it a play. So if you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll make sure to have more videos coming out soon. Take care, everybody.